Hey guys, I'm joined today by Justin Wilmer from TT. Mate, tell me about surface fishing for pelagic, such as Taylor Australian salmon. Uh, I guess what I'm leading into here is weedless hooks over rocks. Yeah, yep, for the style of fishing that you love, that yeah. rock sort of fishing. We do, a lot of guys will weedless rig for that style of fishing, where it's kanji, rocks, whatever it might be. Also ideal around weed, stumps, timber, all sorts of snags, where a lot of the time the fish are hanging in or around that heavy structure, and your standard jig head would yes. see you snagged up fairly quickly. So, How you'll... do you rig it, mate? Because that, that's something we would put a weedless on. Yeah, yep, yep, that guy or this guy, either okay. of those, would be, they'd be perfect. And that'll catch you, that'll really good looking bait fish imitation, catch you a tailor and that sort of thing. Yep. So basically, weedless rigging, for a lot of people is simpler than rigging with a standard jig head where you've really got to thread that hook through. So when we're weedless rigging, all we do is we take this strange looking hook, you'll see why it's a strange looking hook in a minute, but we just want to go through the chitin of the plastic at about a 45 degree angle. Yep. And we won't leave it like that, no. even though a fish might eat it. So we'll pull that right through and that little piece there is called a chin lock. So we slide our plastic up and into that chin lock and you'll feel it sort of pop into place and it wants to spin around once it's in there. So our plastic is now in our chin lock. Wrestle with it a little bit. So you can see there, our plastic is actually locked in place. Right. Our chin's locked in, so that stops it disappearing if a fish bites it. And then all we do is we measure up like our normal jig head where we want the hook to come out. But in this case, we just bend the plastic, pop it through, and we'll come out the back there where we want it to come out. We can hide that hook in that fin and you can see there, we need that different shaped hook because when a fish bites that, we need that soft plastic to clear so that we hook the fish, but we want to be able to hide that plastic. So there you can see. That's perfect. You can run your finger along that, of course. And, and that just eliminates any potential of getting hooked onto a snag. Again, kanji with rocks, tailor, fish that are in close trevally, right along the edge of that rock wash where you need to get your lure. Imagine that if you had a standard jig head, you're going to get caught up quite regularly. And also for those in pounds, a pound that's yeah, again, yep. you know, if you're around weed, all that sort of stuff. Any sort of structure, it's amazing what you can throw this thing into. And because that Z-Man's 10 times tough, super soft and flexible, fish bites it and clears it very easily. Beautiful.